a school of teamwork. We work as a team and for me it's the best school in the world. You know, you teach from the word go, respect. Don't lose your dream. Just believe in yourself and you can make it. My girls come from within, majority of them come from Madare and Mlangokubo, which are actually slum, informal sectors. So I feel they are safer in school than when they are at home. It makes me feel good to be in this school. I feel proud of being in this school. St. Jesus is a very, is a very special school for me because they have brilliant teachers. It's a very perfect school and it's better than the school that I was in before and it has a very conducive environment for learning and I love it here. Uh, I was posted here in 2005, September and when I came in there were a lot of challenges because when I came in I first of all discovered there were a lot of girls fainting in class and uh, we d I decided to find out why every day I have a girl lying in the staff room. And when they gain consciousness, you ask them a few questions, you give them something to drink. And then you find all of a sudden, immediately you give something to eat, life comes back in that girl. Only for me to learn that this girl did not have maybe a meal in the morning, neither did she have any in the previous night. So we sat down with the staff and uh, I, we agreed. I sold the idea and they bought the idea. And we said, we are not only teachers, let us also become mentors and mothers and fathers to these children. So we decided to be offering them free lunch. Personally, I grew up in poverty. So I know what it, how it feels to be poor. And uh, I told God from the word go, I wouldn't want any child to pass through my hands and suffer the way I suffered. That is uh, a promise I made to God. And apart from that, um, I love children. I sincerely love them. So this is one of the closet. As I, as I was talking about the infrastructure in these classrooms, you look at the ceilings, they are badly off. Uh, if you get in, maybe you can see the, the walls are also not in very good shape. But at least we have managed to tie the class, although today is very dirty. Some of them lose hope. They look at their homes and they don't see a future. So we try to make them see there is life beyond the poverty they are living in. And that is why we ensure they are comfortable. Even if you miss a meal at home, at least you are sure of getting one in school. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel young, actually, at heart. Uh, because there is nothing as fulfilling as, as a girl coming to you and opens up. Because by opening up, they heal. By opening up, you are able to guide them. In some cases, we have even to take drastic measures. Uh, when, and especially when it comes to sexual harassment outside there. And the girl comes and tells you, this is what is happening. So I have to take drastic actions. We were trying to start a project here to try to brighten, to broaden the minds of the girls to see that they can also do something out of the schoolwork. So we had rabbits here, right now they are not there, but at least we have chicken. So they learn how to feed and take care of them. You know, you, when you have the slum girl, they don't even have a, a garden, even a small garden at home. So where do they practice this kind of farming? Sometimes we bring them here 
they learn the weeds, the different types of weeds that uh, they learn how to farm so that even when you get out of school and there are no jobs like it is in Kenya, you can also do something like farming or uh, animal husbandry and you make something to keep you going. And here we have our swimming pool, uh, but not in use right now. It died many years ago. Uh, it is my prayer that somebody somewhere will see the need to revive it. Swimming pool is part of exercise. So it can refresh in our body. So when you are not in school, like we only come to school from Monday to Friday. So on Saturdays and Sundays you can come for swimming. Not only for the school, even for the community around. Because the boys and girls outside there can make use of it over the weekend and use that energy in the pool other than doing crimes outside there. This area has a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol, a lot of crime. So you make sure they, that will get the girls out of that environment and put them in a positive way. After school, I would want to be a rugby player. First, I'll focus on my country because my country needs me more apart from other countries. When I focus on my country, then I can go to other countries like America, Scotland, other many more countries. Then my second dream will be, I might want to become a doctor, a surgeon, because I think it's the best work. Then my third dream, it's kind of funny, but I believe I can do it. After playing rugby, I'd want to become the president of Kenya or the president of any other country like Brazil because I believe it's possible. If Obama was a, is a Kenyan and he was able to become the, the president of USA, why can't I? So I, I trust and believe in myself. I dream to become an aeroconic engineer to deal with making aeroplanes. I also wanted to become a, a businesswoman for my own benefits and my family's benefit. KCP Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, which is done after eight years in primary school. Compared to the other schools, we were number 17 out of a possible 200. To get there was not easy. There were various challenges we had to overcome. One was the strike. That means there are no teachers in the school. Even if there are no teachers, I'll just open the classrooms and they learn on their own where they are stuck. We were around me and the deputy, they come and ask. We also use the peer education. Uh, we got uh, girls who are good in every subject. They would be able to help the others. And we made them know this is teamwork, not individual, to make the name of the school. And they did exactly that, and that is why we were able to get that 17 out of 200 schools in Nairobi County. I felt very, very proud. And here meet my president. This is the president of the school. She's the head girl, in short. Yeah, she, she has her own cabinet. She guides the school. The rules, she makes sure that the school rules are followed. Everything goes straight when the teachers are not there. I lead by example, actually, even to the teachers. You find me serving them when they are seated, because I don't want anybody to take me as the boss. I am a servant to them, and the kids know that. In the school, uh, the teachers, the parents, and the people work together, and this makes this school a school of teamwork. And this teaches me a lot. And also following our motto, which is better your best and our vision, which is to improve girls, improve the girls uh, by giving them holistic education to make them responsible women in future. So for me, this is the best school in the world.